Hello, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Jimmy Miller here with Trump of Truth Ministries. And, you know, I talked to you last time. I showed you a little video about the sun. And then I, before that, I showed you about the video about the moon on Luke 21, 25. That we're seeing for prophecy being fulfilled in our eyes right before us. So today I want to show you a little something about another prophecy that's been being fulfilled and even now even more. But it's Matthew chapter 24 verses 4 and 5. They asked Jesus, Master, Rabbi, Leader, Messiah, Savior, what are some of the signs of the end and your coming? And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. Well, if you look back, I wrote it down here, and we'll start off in 1978. Jim Jones, the nutbag from Guyana. He had Jonestown, Guyana, and he talked and killed 918 people into a mass suicide and those who would not drink the lay cyanide Kool-Aid he injected them by his goons and he said that he was Jesus Christ he said he was the son of God and Lee Shaker we'll go back where right now 1774 to 1779 and Lee Shaker she was the founder of the Shakers movement and she had her followers believing that she was a female reincarnate of Jesus Christ. So in the last days, many will come saying that they are the Christ, be not deceived. And then you can look at, in 1993, we had another nutbag by the name of David Koresh with the Branch Davidians. Well, David Koresh, you know, he was held up for many days, and then the, uh, the government, had, they had a shootout and stuff like that, and, and David Koresh and them thought that they would be opening up the fifth seal. Well, on that day, on April 19, 1993, 76 people perished, including David Koresh. He said that he was also the Christ. And there are so many people today that, oh, you can go online and find out, huh? Just, just Google in. Uh, people who say they are Jesus Christ and you will come up with a whole shebang of them but we're coming in the last days you know and I told you about the earthquake last time I talked to you about the Luke 21 25 and since I posted that video up we had uh, two more earthquakes and another hurricane so within the last two months we had three earthquakes and two hurricanes and uh, there were massive earthquakes two of them in, in, in uh, Mexico back to back about a week or two after each other and then one in North Korea, small one in North Korea. Uh, too bad it couldn't have been a big one to take out the little fat young Kung Moon or whoever his name is, uh, Rocket Boy as Donald Trump calls him. But uh, we are in the last days, but what I want to show you too, if I can get on this, 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 this computer, a little thing about a man who says that he is Jesus and he has 10,000 followers. He's got 10,000 people that's following him. And uh, let me see. He calls himself the Church of the Last Testament, and he is the reincarnation of Jesus Christ, as he says. So let me see if I can, I can put this video on. Let me turn off this light so we can get a, a better view of this, and I can turn it on and see where we're at here. Bear with me one minute. i got to focus this in if I can here. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. Okay, this guy's talking about this, this, this nutbag who thinks he's Jesus. He's, he's got 10,000 people following him, believing he's Jesus. Now, let's see if I can do this like this without messing things up. Man or God? This guy here is talking about, he's visited. Now, these people are all waiting for this guy, Jesus, to come out the Oh, here he comes. And he's singing to him. We had traveled thousands of miles to the middle of nowhere in Siberia to see this man, the Sarian, address his congregation on what they call the holiday of good fruits. It was sort of spooky. See, this guy thinks he's Jesus. And he's got 10,000 people thinking he's Jesus also. Where's he at? 
There he is. Look. Look. There's no more Jesus. Look at him. He's no more Jesus than I am Papa. I was about to share some infallible nuggets of Now, wisdom. if he was Jesus, why would he need a microphone? They made us turn off the camera. Of course they did. After giving a short sermon in hushed tones, Vasarian blessed bread made by the community for the ensuing Where's he feast. At? There he is. And bid his followers farewell. He's blessing the bread. I love Jesus. He's aging here. Jesus has got gray hair and he's graying. He's graying. Bye, Jesus. Bye, Jesus. This guy's no more Jesus than I'm Popeye. So we just have finished. So anyway. The sermon with the teacher. Nina's going to translate a little bit for us. Of what, what I can't edit this video because I don't have my brother Lonnie, Lonnie McTurney to do my work for me I'm at my house. And him and I went out today. Where you at? There you are, there you are Jimmy Miller. Uh, here we go. Him and I went out today and, and uh, to go preach at a Catholic church. But uh, it rained, so we got rained out today. Amen. But that's okay. There's another day. But there's people there, this guy here, I'm sorry about all the mix up. But uh, I just wanted to show you, this guy here, he actually believes he's Jesus. He's got 10,000 followers, man, singing to him and, 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 and stuff like that. Now, if he was really Jesus, what do you need a mic to speak to? Well, when Jesus spoke to 5,000 people on the mountain, he didn't have no mic. And, uh, you know, so there's so many people out there today will actually believe, e even Christians will be bewildered and. and, and Deceived and thinking that somebody come and did something good and you know and healed the bobo or something. And this guy got long hair and he called himself Jesus. So you know we got to beware of the, of the last days and uh, just keep an eye out on the earthquakes. I have a strong feeling in my spirit that the Lord has spoke to me a while back about earthquakes. That we're going to see earthquakes like never before. We're going to see famine and pestilence, plague, persecution. I'm under heavy persecution. Uh, I cannot see my grandsons uh, because of Jesus. My, my little grandson's five years old, and I just found out Friday that my son had another baby, and, uh, and uh, I can't see that one either because of my walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, my daughter-in-law and my son won't allow me to see my grandsons, and my, my son disowned me because of my walk with Jesus. But uh, nevertheless, I will not deny my Lord and Savior for nobody. I don't care who they are. But, you know, I actually keep my family in prayer because my sons need to be, to be born again and saved. And, uh, but anyway, do not be deceived. Jesus is not here on earth. He hasn't came yet. When that trumpet blows, trust me, the whole world will know about it. The whole world will know about it. And when that trumpet blows and he calls his church home, the whole world will know about it. And then you're going to see a lot of, well, the believers won't share it, but the believers will be up in the up in the air and meet the Lord in the air, praise the Lord. Ooh, what a good joy for that be, huh? But uh, a lot of people, you know, left behind earth, lukewarm Christians, they're gonna be crying and screaming and they're gonna be running in fear because then the Antichrist is gonna have his way and if you don't take the mark of the beast, then you'll not be able to work, buy, sell, eat, trade, and you'll get your head cut off, you know, and uh, but me, I, I'm just rather, I, I'd rather play a smart and be a wise old, old man and uh, go, go to heaven with my head on. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, my body's going to be, be no good, but uh, I'd rather go to, go to heaven with my head on my shoulders than have it, you know, I need my arm, you know. But uh, I tell all you people, get ready. Jesus is coming. Get ready. Jesus is coming. Repent. 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 That's all I can tell you. Repent. I'm crying out. I'm crying out. Crying out to the streets, to the wilderness, to the highways, to the hedges, to the schools, to the parks. Repent. Jesus is coming soon. The trumpet is going to be blowing. God bless you. Jimmy Miller, the old servant of the living God, and enemy of Satan.